Hello and welcome back to No Excuses. I'm Marilyn Ward and today on Stop and Give Me 10, we are going to work on the back, the chest, and shoulders. So, like I always, I like to work from bigger muscles to smaller muscles. So, back muscles are large, the chest muscles, the pec muscles are large, and then we're gonna go to the shoulders. So, whether you start with back or chest first, not so much, not really important. Um, and real del rear deltoids or rear shoulder is actually kind of like the opposing of the chest where the back and the chest are always um, kind of opposing muscles of each other. So we are going to start with the back first. I'm going to grab my eight. So pulling up the socks. So I have my leg out in front of me. I stay nice and neutral and I'm pulling up socks. So my arms are narrow and I'm pulling like I'm squeezing my shoulder blades. Now, you can also keep a wide arm. So see how now I've turned my hands from here to here? That works as well. On a lighter weight, I'll show you how to do one from an upper position. So while I set those to the side, we're gonna do another 30 seconds of that back. We'll try to get two sets of each in. We're gonna do a little rest in between. So I'm gonna show you how to do that same move, but our arms are up here. Now, because that shoulder is now engaged to hold that weight up, I am dropping my weight from the eights to the fives. You'll notice a difference. So again, shoulders back, squeeze and release. Squeeze. So I'm still squeezing those shoulder blades together. I'm not um, swaying back and forth, I'm letting the work come from the arms, bringing it back by the chest and squeezing the shoulder blades. So hopefully you did both ways. You can really feel the difference between here, here, and here. Perfect. So we're resting for 30. We're going to go into our chest. We're going to do an incline chest press. I think I'll drop the eights. I'm going to grab the tens. I am kind of in an incline chair. I have a pillow behind me to support my back. We have 10 seconds. I'm going to lay back, just keep my neck supported, and we're going to press out. Okay. So let me see if I can get here. So lean back. So this is an incline chest press. Ooh. Can we feel it with these tens? So the weight is at my chest level, pressing out, bringing back, not really resting the arm in between. Ooh, that's a tough one. I think I'm going to listen to my body and I'm going to switch down to an eight because I feel like I'm losing my form. So nothing wrong with that. Anytime you're dealing with free weights, it does take a little time to adjust and see what weight works for you. But I always want good form. And because I'm talking, I wanna make sure that I give you proper action. So again, my arms are out wide. Uh, eights feel much better. So now if you're on a bench, you kind of lay your head back, keep it supported. So I'm just trying to keep my neck nice and neutral. <laughs> the dog is trying to get in the other room, go to his hideout. Yes, the eights feel much better. Almost there and relax. So that was our two sets of the chest. I'm just going to reach around and shut the door. Keep them from coming back. Now we're going to go into a shoulder press. So now I'm going to drop down even lower. I'm going to go to fives. Now shoulder press. We can do it several ways. So wide first up and overhead. So our arms come down, just barely breaking that plane. And I'm bringing the arms up. They do not clank at the top. 
good. This weight feels good. So just pressing it up. Now, if for some reason you have shoulder problems, you can take it to this narrow position. Okay, so that's just the difference between the two. So we'll rest here for 30 seconds and we'll do another set. And then we'll probably have enough time maybe to get one more set of a different back, chest, and shoulder. Uh, just one set each. Um, so we'll try to see how much we can fit in in this 10 minutes. So up and overhead. Good. Up and overhead. I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're feeling good, feeling strong. Today is Wednesday, June 5th. It is Happy National Run Day. So we are joining with another run group tonight for a big run fest. So maybe I'll see you there. And then relax. All right, so I think we've got enough time. We'll get one more set of, of a different back, chest, and shoulder, so I'm going to go with my eights. We're gonna do um, a back fly. Let me see. I'm gonna come a little forward off my chair. So actually, I'm gonna grab the fives for this. So back fly, nice and neutral. Our arms come out to the side. Again, squeezing those shoulder blades. Just dropping the arms down and bringing it back. Squeezing the shoulder blades again. You yourself shouldn't be moving up and down, maybe just a slightly. Let those arms do the work. Squeezing in the back shoulder blades. You probably also feel this in the rear deltoid. Good. And relax. Then we're gonna go into a pet fly where we're Squeezing at the elbows. We'll rest here for our 30. I'll stay with the fives here. They seem to do good. Always challenge yourself. Try that heavier weight. If it's too much, drop it back. Nothing wrong with that. As you see that I did it. So squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Good. So think of squeezing those chest muscles and relax. Squeeze the chest muscles and relax. Yes, sometimes for the ladies, our girls get in the way. So we're just trying to, as best we can, to touch the elbows. Good job. Almost there. Now you're also gonna feel that in the shoulder because again, your shoulders are working. Shoulders take a brunt, a secondary, your secondary muscle to a lot of our moves, so you know we gotta treat our our shoulders good. So this last move we're gonna do is a lateral raise with our um, I'm gonna do fives here. So bent arm, so you can do a frontal and a lateral, but in the seated position, I feel like these laterals will be the best. So this, if you ever you know go to the gym and you see that machine where it literally looks like this, you got a pad, and you bring the arms up and down. So relax that neck, no turtle heads, bringing those elbows up. So you really feel that shoulder, but again, you can bring them out wide, puts a little more brunt on the shoulders. You can do the frontal right here. Or you can stay right here, like in the machine. Awesome, so we are down to our last minute. So let's take this time Kind of relax those arms forward and back and let's bring it across and stretch out that shoulder so if we would have done three sets of each of those you would have had plenty of time to do three sets uh, of each of the back the chest and the shoulders so bring it behind stretch that tricep Ooh, quick quick pat yourself on the back Switch, pat yourself on the back. Big bear hug, relax that neck. 
bring it behind you. So you don't have to overdo it, overcomplicate it, make these hour long uh, workouts, even though sometimes those are good if you're really trying to build that muscle. But just these quick 10 minutes, you did three exercises, uh, working three different muscles. So nice job. We'll see you again tomorrow.